Continuing with my series Boy Scout Knives of the Greatest Generation, that is, Boy Scout Knives made before World War II, today let's take a look at this old Remington from 1927. And the way we can date this knife from 1927 is by its shield. Uh, Remington actually used three different style shields on its Boy Scout knives. When they started making Boy Scout knives uh, in 1923, they used an acorn shield. Now, I don't have one of those to show you, but I can stop and put it in a picture. So Remington used that acorn shield from 1923 to 1926, and then in 1927 and 1927 alone, they used what's known as the cutout shield. So you can see here it's the first class emblem, uh, but the eagle and the fleur-de-lis has been cut from the background and laid in the uh, bone scale there. And then in 1928, all the way up through 1939, when Remington quit making Boy Scout knives and sold the Pal Blade Company, they used a round shield like this. And apparently there were two different sizes of this round shield. And uh, I would say that this knife being made in 1927 alone, or, or no later than 1927, has to be correct because I found an ad from 1928 showing the round shield. Let me just throw that in. So anyway, regardless, all the shields have the scout motto, be prepared. So let's just take a look at this beautiful old scout knife. And the uh, first thing that uh, I want to talk about are these bone handles. They're kind of a, this is, would be brown, I guess, kind of a warm brown. And they're in really good shape. They've got a good luster to them. Both sides seem to be pretty well matched. You got the nice old jigging, and it's really got that pocket-worn look to it. I really like it. Um, this knife does have the scored nickel-silver bolsters. It is a four-pin design. You've got a vertical pull tab on the two-part can opener, so there is a cutout in the scale to get your fingers under that. There's a permanently attached bail on this end with the three lines. Uh, it does have brass liners and a brass spacer. You can see there's file work or cross hatching on that spacer. And you can actually see that down inside too. I'll show you that in a second. Let's take a look at the can opener first. Again, this is the two part can opener. They used a one piece can opener in that first version, but then they moved to this two part can opener. It was supposed to be stronger actually. And then on this side here, you can see the word Remington in script, which is really neat. I'm going to leave that open so we can look down inside. Uh, one other thing that they were supposed to move to in 1927 with this cutout shield version was the longer screwdriver that looks like this. But as you can see, mine has the short and stubby screwdriver that they actually used on the Acorn model in 1923 through 1926. So I can only surmise that this is kind of a transition year and they used some old parts. Uh, I don't see any evidence that this knife has been taken apart, rebuilt, or repaired. So we'll just probably say that that was just using up old stock. It has a spear blade like all of these old Scout knives. The tank stamp it's a little difficult to catch here, but it reads Remington UMC in a circle and made in above and USA below. Now I was calling uh, UMC something different uh, or, or something wrong and a viewer corrected me on it and told me it, was, uh, it stands for Union Metallic Cartridge Company. So I looked that up and Union Metallic Cartridge Company was founded in 1867 emerged with Remington in 1912. And you can actually still see, you know, on a box of Remington ammo, I never paid attention to it, but it says UMC on it. So how cool is that? Then on the other side here, we have the model number, which on so many of these old Remingtons was uh, RS3333. Now this is a three and three quarter inch knife in 1927, they also made a smaller version, a three and a half inch version. A 
down inside here you can see that file work on the inside of that liner and uh, spacer there. And I'm showing off here a little bit, but look how clean I got that down in there. Oh, here's the awl. I want to forget our awl. The awl's just a little short, I think. As I recall, this one had a little ragged end that I had to round, so it probably had the very tip broken off. But again, here you can see Remington. It's kind of hard to see, but UMC inside a circle there. This knife still has great snap, very strong springs, built like a tank. So apparently Remington ended World War I with this huge capacity to make bayonets and knives, and they went into the pocket knife business in 1920, started making Boy Scout knives in 1923, up through 1939, as I mentioned, and they really do have the biggest variety of the older Scout knives. Uh, I really love this knife. It's really cool in the hand, and when I hold it, I just think of Fred McMurray and Follow Me Boys. Thanks for watching, and have fun collecting.